Hello, I'm delighted to be welcoming you to the possibility of joining Mark Burroughs and me, Stephanie Dalrick, uh, for our three-part invitation to join with the wisdom of Rainer Maria Rilke and finding a wiser way. And the reason that I'm delighted is that it will not only be your intellect that will be stimulated, but also your senses. Rilke is well known as a, a poet of extraordinary vision and um, extraordinary appropriateness for this time because he was so unorthodox. But what many people don't know is that he's also a very sensual poet, uh, not just in terms of the natural world, although that very much too, but in how we receive the world. This is not supposed to be a place only of suffering or of hard-won insight. It's also life itself, the world, the physical world, the inner worlds that we inhabit, are also supposed to be, I think, places of stimulation, of, of joy, sometimes even of bliss. And one of the poems that we'll be discussing, Mark and I, is called Dance the Orange. How spectacularly unorthodox is that? So if you join us, it will be very much for insight, yes, guidance, yes, but also for pleasure. I very much hope you can be with us. Thank you.